Yo, I done six shows in a row, so my voice is hurting. Fans wanna hear what you're in person. Boy, oi. She want a man from Brom, but she settled with a boy from Burton. I still see feds on a block. Hi guys, and welcome back to The Beard Necessities. And in today's episode, I'm gonna be talking about the Derma Roller. Now, this is pretty long awaited for a lot of you guys. I've been asked by a lot of people now to do a video on this. I've decided I'm finally gonna do one. Um, and with help from research conducted by the scientist at the Minox Beard Spot, I'm able to give you a bit more of a detailed explanation as to why we use this, why it's important. I'm also gonna talk about how you use it and how you should care for it as well. Uh, so let's get into this. Okay guys, so this right here is a derma roller. Uh, and essentially what it is, is a handle with a little roller on the end, which is covered in these small micro needles. It's also called micro needling or derma rolling when you use it. Now, these needles come in a variety of different sizes. So there's 0.5 millimeter, which I use. There's 0.75 millimeter, there's one millimeter and up. Now, the general recommendation is that anything above one millimeter you leave to the professionals. Don't go buying things over that because they should only really be handled by professionals. Because although this is a very useful tool, there is a possibility of doing some damage if you're not careful. Um, now I have the stainless steel variety uh, and most people recommend you get the titanium variety. I believe it's to do with rusting uh, and it is slightly more expensive, uh, but do feel free to go and get that one. I've stuck with this one here because I bought it originally 0.5 millimeter and yeah, so that's essentially what a derma roller actually is. So why are we using this? Well, first things first, it's not for absorption. So please get that idea right out of your head and I'll explain why in a moment. But first, let's just look at what we're actually using this for. So it's for follicular stimulation, so the actual stimulation of your hair follicles, and also for collagen production, it's collagen synthesis. And the reason that's really important is because minoxyl actually inhibits collagen production. Um, and what the derma roller does is once you've used it about an hour afterwards, your face will start to produce more collagen, which is good for your skin. Uh, that's why often people worry about minoxidil aging their skin or something like this is gonna help pretty significantly along with moisturizer as well, obviously. Side note, collagen is extremely important for strong and thick hair. So that's another reason why this is good. Now, as I said, this is not for absorption. Whilst it would improve absorption, that's not what we're using it for. So essentially, when you use this, you cause micro abrasions on your skin. Now, these take about 24 hours to fully heal. But also, collagen production, as I said before, starts an hour after using it. So if you put minoxidil on straight away after using this, you're just going to negate all of the benefits to using this. You may as well not do it whatsoever. Um, so that's really important. And in regards to the absorption element of it, Whilst you're going to absorb more minoxidil, you're also going to make that minoxidil go systemic pretty much instantly because you're going to have open, very small open cuts on your face, uh, which means you're going to likely get more of the side effects. So unwanted hair in other areas, uh, heart palpitations, the things that we generally associate with minoxidil side effects will potentially be more severe from applying straight afterwards. Uh, and again, you won't be getting that collagen boosting benefit. So to be clear, if you've just used minoxidil and you want a derma roll, wait four hours for the absorption, wash it off, and then derma roll. If you've derma rolled, wait 24 hours before putting minoxidil on your face. Now, you're probably also wondering how often per week should you use this. I recommend one to two. It's what most people would also recommend. That's all you need to do. It. I do it once. Some people do it twice, and there are ways that you can do that. And I will also write a little schedule down in the description as well to help you kind of plan out when you're going to do it. Now we're going to talk very briefly about caring for your derma roller. Now it's important that you disinfect this every time you use it, uh, and all you need to do is buy some general rubbing alcohol um, from your local chemist or pharmacy, and you put the head of that in there for about a minute, uh, and then you take it out, rinse it, and you. Put it back in your case do try and keep hold of these cases they're good for keeping out other contaminants and whatnot so now let's talk about how you actually use this so this is how i have decided to start using mine and i kind of took inspiration from my beard journeys video in terms of learning how to use this um, but what i essentially do is i split my face into sections so i have my right cheek my left cheek my mustache my underlip and my neck here's what you do you apply moderate pressure to the area that you're derma rolling and you move five times up, five times down, and you can do it as follows. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you move on to the next section, it's very important that you don't turn the derm roller on your skin. You should take it off and do it again. So you go up five times, down five times, right five times, left five times, and then you do diagonal. So this way five times, that way five times, this way five times, that way five times. You do that over the whole area. So I personally do up and down, move along, do that. Then I go back and do the sides because I can do them in one big go. Uh, and then I focus more on the diagonal rolling and back again. Now, when you get to the under neck, it's a little bit more tricky just because of the shape of it. So again, you can split that into sections. So I typically do two sections like that um, and derma roll separately. Same with the mustache. I tend to roll in the middle, do all the things in the middle, and then I do the sideways stuff. Um, and that's essentially how you use it. So remember, it's kind of five times in each direction uh, and you take it off your skin before moving on to the next part of that section. Uh, and once you've done that, you can apply moisturizers or oils as per your requirements. It will help get rid of some of the dry skin because you are going to get some skin flaking, flaking with this because minoxidil obviously dries your skin out if you're using the liquid version. And so often when you do use this, even when you've washed your face, you're going to see some element of dryness there so you can always wash again and moisturize and whatnot just to keep your skin hydrated okay guys so thanks very much for watching that was my video on the derma roller and a massive thank you to my beard journey for his initial video where he talked about how you use it um, you should check out pablo's video as well he's got a really good spanish version of a derma roller and a huge shout out to uh, sarosh aka the scientist of the minox beard spot who provided us with all of the links and the information that have gone into this video um, so thanks very much again for taking the time to watch if you'd like to like comment and subscribe i would really appreciate it uh, and i will see you again next time and in today's episode i'm going to be talking about shaving um, i'm going to go through a few things about shaving and i'm going to talk about some of the common misconceptions and some of the things to avoid as well